information they are receiving. It also debilitates, Jen, our workforce. Mm -hmm. These are individuals who are putting their lives on the line to search and rescue for victims of Hurricane Helene, a hurricane of historic magnitude. It is very sad. It's very sad. And it very sounds damaging. Like you're saying that people feel like government can't help them, so they're not seeking the information that they are entitled to, which is very alarming. I wanted to ask you about, I mean, one of the themes we've also seen with how Trump spreads misinformation is that it's the targeting of migrants often um, and the migrant community. We saw that in Springfield. We've seen that a bit around the hurricane. Uh, you're a child of immigrants yourself, um, but also as, a, as the secretary of the Home, uh, De Department of Homeland Security, you, you oversee and you, you watch this issue closely. I want to play something he said this morning um, and get your thoughts on it. She has no clue. How about allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. I mean, that's obviously... Uh, disgusting what he just said and I want to put the politics aside here um, and ask you kind of on a personal level but also if I may as the Secretary of Homeland Security how concerned are you with the repetition of that rhetoric and how migrant communities are being targeted by his supporters I think um, uh, Jen you you put it powerfully just a few minutes ago and quite poignantly we have parents who are scared to send their children to school because of this demonization, because of the false information, the targeting of migrants. In our darkest chapters of world history, we've seen this de demonization victimize millions of people. You speak of my, you reference my personal story, um, six million Jews were killed in World War II. My mother lost a tremendous amount of family precisely because of this type of rhetoric and the violence that it breeds.